Aids to navigation. Aids to navigation. We will hear these referred to sometimes as ATONs. These are federal aids to navigation, ATONs. Private aids to navigations are PATONs. So we have ATONs and PATONs, right? Aids to navigation. And we have an acronym to help us remember these. A student talked to me. It's an excellent, excellent acronym. So here we go. The acronym says RENT. Messed that one up. Let's try this again. Rent and cogs. Rent cogs. Sounds strange. It is kind of strange, but it is an excellent representation of these aids. So rent stands, these are starboard marks. Stands for red, even, none, triangle. And this describes the starboard hand marks as you return from C. Everybody's heard red, right, returning, the three R's. Cogs, can, odd, green, square. Now let me explain this a little further. When you enter from seaward to a port, the red ones are always on your right side, and this describes them. They're red in color. If they're numbered, they have even numbers on them. If it's an unlighted buoy, it is a nun with a conical top. If it's a day marker, it's a triangle. So red, even, nun, triangle describes starboard hand marks. Huh. Look at that. I forgot the end. Can odd green square. When you're entering from seaward, the port hand marks, if it's an unlighted buoy, it's a can. If it's numbered, it's an odd number. Its color is green. If it's a day marker, it's a square. Rent cogs. It's just a good association to help us remember this. Now let's look at these aids to navigation. Bring it a little closer. All right. Now let's see what this is all about. One second. Get this a little better. Okay, here's our starboard hand mark, starboard side. So you see the day marker, it's a triangle. The number inside is two. This is a can buoy, it's an unlighted buoy. Sorry, it's a nun buoy. It's unlighted, it has a conical shaped top, it's got a six on it. Here we have a lighted buoy, it's got an eight on it. Here's their characteristics. This is flashes two, flashes occults, quick flashes, iso flashes, iso flashes. They're all even numbers. So that's where we get our rent. They're red. They have even numbers. If it's an unlighted buoy, it's a nun buoy. And the day markers are triangles. Here's our port hand buoys. A day marker is a square, an unlighted buoy is a can, a lighted buoy is green, it's got an odd number on it, and here's the flash patterns. Flashes 2, flashes, occults, quick flashes, iso flashes. Flashes 2 just says, this buoy, its characteristic, its light characteristic, is flash flash, and then it stays off. It's said to be eclipsed. So it says, Flash, flash, eclipse. Flash, flash, eclipse. And then our flashes, you can see on the chart and on this diagram, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but 
this is a very standard diagram and it's in the back of the light list so it gives the characteristic right here by the lighted buoy number nine it says green nine flashes green every four seconds so that means this buoy says flash eclipses for a slow four count one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand 4, 1, 000, flashes again so we have flashes two flashes occulting occulting means that the buoy is lighted for a longer time than it is eclipsed quick flashing you'll see these a lot of times in a busy channel if the channel turns you'll get these quick flashes just flash 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 iso flashing it is lighted for the same amount of time that it is eclipsed and these are the light characteristics they're always on the chart you can read them over here this is an example chart in all of these like this one says green five flashes two every four seconds green three flashes green every six seconds and the fact that it has a magenta disc around an open circle means this is a lighted buoy that is moored. If it has a solid black dot, like this one here, that means this aid to navigation is anchored to the ground on a piling of some sort. It's not floating. It won't change position on you. So it's good to take bearings from these closed dots with magenta flares and you can see it has a characteristics it's number one flashes to green every four seconds here's another one number two iso flashes red every six seconds good so these are the port and starboard hand marks now it throws in a twist right here it says well there's a primary channel and then there's a secondary channel. So what aid to navigation do we need to mark a primary and a secondary channel? And it turns out they have preferred channel marks, right? Preferred channels. So they are, you go by the top band and you see over here, they have green, red, green, green, red, green, right? An unlighted, the color of the top of these aids tells you what the preferred channel in is and the flash will always be in that color and the shape of the unlighted aid will always go along with the color of the top band so here we have a can that is green red it's right here it says gr green red top band green secondary band red that means when entering from seaward, you leave this can to the port side to stay in the primary channel. But it suggests that there is, it does more than suggest, it tells you that there is a secondary channel and if you left that to starboard, you enter the secondary channel. Just like we're seeing here, right? This is a safe watermark, we'll talk about that. Go to the safe watermark, Here's a range. We'll talk about that too. You line up the range. This aid right here is a preferred channel buoy. It says RG, flash 2 plus 1 red every 6 seconds. So the characteristic is red green. It flashes a 2 plus 1, which is a designated light characteristic for a preferred channel mark. They will always flash 2 plus 1 in the color of their topmost band when they're lighted. And if it's an unlighted buoy, the shape of that unlighted aid will always be the shape of the color of the topmost band. If that sounds confusing to you, remember the rent cogs. Red, even, none, triangle. So if it's red, it's going to have a conical top. It'll be a none. If it's green preferred channel, it's going to have a cylindrical top, a square top to it. So here we are. We come to the safe watermark. We start to enter through this channel. Red, red on the right, green on the port. 
and they both have their characteristics. Red 2 flashes red every 6 seconds, green 1. ISO flashes green every 4 seconds. So we enter, and we hit this buoy. This is the preferred channel mark that we're talking about, and it tells us it's red on top, green on the bottom. And it flashes 2 plus 1 red every 6 seconds. That tells us to stay in the preferred channel, leave that preferred channel mark to the starboard side. So we do, and then we enter up through this channel. Red, right, return the whole time. If we were to take that preferred channel mark and use the secondary channel, we would leave it to port and use that second band, red, green. Green being the secondary color. So we can leave that to port and enter this secondary channel. So we have the primary channel, the secondary channel. Good, let's look at the safe watermark. This safe watermark, it also has a flash pattern. It flashes Morse code A in white. So Morse code A is dot dash, and then it's eclipsed, right? It's not lighted. So it flashes, it flashes, and then a longer flash, and then it's eclipsed for a certain amount of seconds. And then it flashes once, and then a longer flash, and then it's eclipsed. That's Morse code A, dot dash. So a safe watermark, it's, it marks the middle of a channel or fairway, which is safe water. So that's what this marker right here is on this, this diagram. You go to the safe water mark and then you enter the channel. And in this, in this case here, once you hit the safe water mark, you lined up this range right here. Follow the range and hit the preferred channel mark, take the preferred channel, or take the secondary channel. Let's look at special marks. Here's a special mark. Right, they can be cans, nuns, day boards, or lighted buoys. And they mark anchorages, traffic separation schemes, fishnet areas, things like that. Special things. So they're yellow. They're always lettered. And if they're lighted, they will flash yellow and have they'll have that flash pattern. It's a flashes yellow every four seconds. That's the characteristic of the light. And then we can have unlighted buoys. They can be either cans or nuns. And next to them, they will, there will be small letters on the chart next to these yellow buoys. Like this one here. I really wish you could read it, but you can follow along on your card. And it says C-A, meaning it's a can buoy lettered A. So here we have yellow C-A. It's a yellow can lettered A. This one is a nun. It's a yellow. It says Y N C. It's a yellow nun lettered C. And then we have a day board here, day beacon, a day mark, and it says yellow B N A. So these are the special buoys. Now we have isolated danger buoys. This, the isolated dangers. Mark just that, isolated dangers. They're one of the only marks on here that do not mark safe water. These starboard and port hand marks, preferred channel buoys and safe water mark, they're marking safe water. They're not telling you where the danger is. They're saying, stay between these. You're in safe water if you do that. The isolated danger mark is black and red. It flashes group two white only and it marks an isolated danger meaning don't go by that buoy and now oh, let me let's look a little lower down this exclusion areas so here these are what we see slow no wake swim area here's a speed limit sign right so we have exclusion area right here this is your don't come boating here because this is a swim area that's an example of an exclusion area restricted operations these this one will say something like no wake or give a speed limit 
something like that within that circle and these are all orange and white this diamond shape in the middle means danger maybe there's a rock or a log or a bar a shoal something like that these are information and regulatory marks and down here we have this one everybody knows right at least in the states the diver down flag it says what well, changes from state to state state regulated I have the New York handbook and the Michigan handbook and the New York the New York handbook says don't come within 200 feet of this flag the Michigan handbook says don't come within a hundred feet of this mark and the diver can't be over a hundred feet away from that mark a lot of times they have it attached to them and as they dive it follows them whoops excuse me here we have the international sign for diver down or underwater operations is a rigid replica of the code flag alpha. This is internationally recognized. When you see work being done off the coast, like down in the east or west coast, near a ways offshore, you're going to want this international code flag alpha. And this diver down is state regulated again. And that's the one we see. Now, if you remember from Rules of the Road, look, it says red, white, red, which are the same colors for a vessel restricted in their ability to maneuver due to the nature of their work. And in this case, it's underwater operations. Good. That is a synopsis on aids to navigation. And let's just review one more time. Rent cogs, red even none triangle, cogs, can odd green square. These are starboard and port hand marks. They have light characteristics, right? Either port or starboard can flash to, flash, occult, quick flash, iso flash. And then we have preferred channel markers, which always flash composite group flashing two plus one, the color of their topmost band. And if they're unlighted buoys, then their shape will correspond to the color of their topmost band. Sorry about that. And now we have safe water marks they, or mid-channel marks. They mark the middle of a channel or fairway and safe water. Then we have our special marks, regulatory marks, isolated danger buoys, and their diver down. And then we have the characteristics of these buoys, right? Green one, ISO flash green every four seconds. Red two, flashes red every six seconds. Red and white, this is safe water again. Red white, flashes Morse code A, which is dot dash. And here's red green, right? The preferred channel buoy we talked about. Red green, that talks about the colors. It flashes two plus one red every six seconds. This Composite group 2 plus 1 flash is a dedicated flash pattern for a preferred channel buoy. Alright.